Hello, hello. Live View 0 0.20 just shipped with Assign Async or Async Assigns. And these are really cool. So before this, uh, when we wanted to load something asynchronously, when we first mounting the Live View, you had to do a whole bunch of things. Well, Live View 0 0.20 makes this a breeze. Let's check it out. So we have the mount function here and we have a single assign. And as you can tell, instead of just calling Assign, we're calling Assign Async. We define the assign here and then we have to pass the function, right? Whatever it was going to do the asynchronous fetching. So in this case, we're just passing an anonymous function and this needs to return an okay on, or error tuple. So in this case, we're gonna hard code an okay. And then we have to pass the set of assigns that are gonna get merged in. So in this case, metric again, and here we're doing the actual fetching of the metric. Now, if you look at it, this is just arbitrarily sleeping for a little bit. So we have that asynchronous kind of behavior and then we're just gonna return a map of value and name, right? So that's our metric. The cool thing is that what this assign async is doing is not actually returning this from the get-go, it returns a new data structure called async result. And what this has as an okay to check if the asynchronous operation has been successful as a loading state, and then it has a failed or result. And result is when we get the positive uh, outcome. So let's take a look at how it gets used in the template. And over here, as you can see, we have this metric is, if the metric is loading, we perform some things. So this is gonna do like a little skeleton type thing. And if it's not loading, then we can check if the metric is okay. If it is, we're gonna print the name and look at here, we're doing metric result name, right? So the result is a successful case and the same thing with the value. And if it's unsuccessful, we're just gonna print a fail to load error. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks on the browser. As you can see, the page loads correctly. We had that little skeleton showing and then it loads. How about the error case? So let's go back to the code and change this to always return an error just so we see how the error returns. Let's go back to the browser. It's loading and then it fails to load and it prints our message. I think this is really, really cool. And it's such a, such a nice thing to have out of the box. I hope you like it.